so guys we talked about i rule now there is one more component which is called policy so if you talk about when i was talking about i rule in i rule there was a component called event then there was a condition then there was an action but what we were doing is we were writing tcl language syntax policies are also a component which have been introduced from version 12 f5 says that they save some cpu utilization there is no article or any proof they have provided but they tell that policies are less cpu intensive in i rule there are even then it trigger then it do is in policies it is little simple but only different between i rule and policy is policies are more user friendly some things can be created on i rule some things can be created on policy if something is not available through policies you can create an i rule but things are same now i will show you how do you do it so when you go to policies in local traffic you create click on create then you will give policy name http2 https then can you see create policy now here you will see different options available automatically more user friendly so what i will do here i have created a policy now you need to define a rule can you see the same things are available i rule name you need to give like policy name then condition then if that condition is true what you need to do so this is called the component of your ltm policy first policy name then condition where we are giving the action same thing in i rule is also possible same thing is in policy so what you need to do you will say see http header we talked about header we talked about the user agent right you can give here chrome then you can apply whether you should reset the traffic see i am saying that if http user agent browser is chrome reset the traffic that's it rule name <coughs> so let's see this see it's giving user friendly you can apply based on header you can supply here user agent you can contain same thing http header user agent names contain chrome <coughs> save once you save it here you are not typing when condition or something you are just giving gui option tabs they are giving you user more friendly after you save the rule just save and publish policy <coughs> that's it guys then go to your virtual server now resources here i will remove this i will say pool of rgb plus i will call policies here instead of i rule i will go into policies i will apply policy <coughs> now 
Now let me apply. Let me access the page. Let me see what I am getting on 192, 168, 1.45. Can you see this guys? I am getting reset. Why? Because I have given that if someone is accessing from Chrome, now let me see from Mozilla. Why it is doing this, guys? Anyone? Because when I am given the condition of policy that if HTTP header user agent, if someone is using Chrome, it should reset the traffic. Other than that, it's following which path? It's following your pool member path. simple even you can go to policies there are different different things you can do you can create one more policy client IAP. <coughs> create policy after that you create a rule you can also define client ip here also You can say TCP address equal to 192.168.1.9. At request time, you can say at request time or at response time. It gives you option. What you need to do? I will say it should redirect to, let's see, crnets.com. I'm saying then if someone access my virtual server, from this IP, I will redirect to location cnnets.com. <coughs> First, you save it, then you publish it. That is important. Now I will publish. I will go here on my virtual server. I will go to resources manage. Now let's see what is in the condition I have given. I have given if TCP is there, it should redirect to cnnets.com. Let's see if it goes through that. See guys, it's redirecting to our website. So this is how guys you can redirect your traffic based on particular IP. Now if I access from here, you will see that it will not redirect. So this is difference between policies and I rule it's little easy. It gives you little more user friendly options. That is only the difference between your I rule versus policies tab. It gives you same things you can implement from here also.
so this was related to policies you can just save it and publish it go to policies create tab give the policy name create policy <coughs> After that, you will get an option. Now here you need to create a rule. You can also say URI or SSL, TCP and check. These are the option. You can also say if HTTP method is get, then what you need to do? based on method also based on response <coughs> status code if status code is 400 then what should happen plus this is the condition it's giving you forward the traffic to the pool So this is how it is user friendly. That's why people say it's little user friendly than what we talked previously. Where you need to see the syntax, but here you just work on based on this also. So that is the difference between I rule versus local traffic policies.